Sex unprotected, they're acting like they don't know that somebody can get pregnant. No one in history has done that. But what she's ultimately doing is she's putting she's putting out some text messages. And granted, the things that are in the messages I did say, I would never go back on the stuff that I said. As a grown woman, I have no problem admitting to stuff that I said. I said some things out of anger during a, a certain time. And so what's going on is this is being framed in a certain way to basically say that I met a man, Rob, and within three months I chose to go get pregnant by him. This is what is being said. Now, the thing of it is, is that this is not the case because like I said, this person does not even know if I am currently pregnant because I have not spoken to her in a while so she wouldn't know she wouldn't be able to validate if i was still pregnant or not she would not be able to do that because again i have not spoken to her but i would not lie and say the text messages and the stuff that she's showing is not true because it is and those things that are things that i've said i said them in a certain context that context is not being shown of course because when people want to show a certain narrative they're going to show a certain narrative. So I'm being told that I'm a hypocrite. I'm being told that I've somehow chose a man who is a dusty beta male. I understand that I said certain things and and messages out of anger. And like I said, I don't have a choice but to take responsibility for that because I did say certain things. Now, do I think that this man is is a beta male? Absolutely not. Did I meet him and then within three months decide and plan to be pregnant by him absolutely not i certainly didn't do that but there is a text message where obviously i did talk about some conversations that we had and i did say that we had a conversation about that and that's because i met him and spoke to him and learned that he was a very intelligent man i liked his character i still like his character that's just the reality of what it is I do not quantify him by the amount of children he has or the amount of women that he has them by, because quite frankly, he is the most active father I've ever seen in my life. I've never met a man who was more, I've never met one who was more active or involved. I never met one who would do anything to make sure he's there to support his children. That's just the reality of what it is. And so if people are quantifying somebody being a dusty beta male based on how many children they can have with how many people, then they're going to call him a dusty beta male because they don't care about anything. They care about the fact that this man has children by more than one woman. So that's why they're quantifying him as a dusty beta male. I don't think he's a dusty beta male. I don't. I never saw him as a, as a dusty beta male. Again, like I said, this is a hardworking man who does whatever it takes for his children. Since I've been talking to him, has he inspired me to make personal changes? Absolutely. That's just the reality of what it is. He has. He is very intelligent and has inspired me to make certain uh, certain personal changes. Whether people see those changes or not doesn't negate the fact that he has, and that's why I continue dealing with him. And that's why I will continue to talk to him because he is a good man. That's just the reality. I don't sum him up by the children he has. To me, a dusty beta male would be a man who creates a bunch of children that he is not taking care of. (sighs) 60 ounces senior for full grown woman is your business yeah it is my business but because of me confiding and and discussing and disclosing personal information to a person that i thought was my friend now my business is all over youtube and is being made youtube fodder for people the educated smoker said are you happy i am but the reality of it is this you i still have people coming out here calling me a hypocrite saying that i chose to get pregnant by a man the sadusky beta male like the ones i talked to and that's just not true taylor said i'm a happy happy absolutely 
But I did. I said some things out of anger. And these are the things that she's showing. When everybody, people get mad, they say things out of anger. And I am not exempt from that. And I sit here and I spoke into and confide, confided in a woman that, like I said, I thought was my friend. And she chose to take a confidential a confidential conversation that she chose to make them public for the reasons of deciding to make me look like a, what does she call me, a hood rat and somebody who just chose to run out and get pregnant what I'm being told is what it was. Although, like I said, she does not know the conf- what is going on within the relationship right now. I haven't spoken to her in months. So the stuff that you guys have seen and that you that you may see, these are things that, that are not recent. These took place in probably about October, November in some discussions that again, like I said, I have with this woman because she was supposed to be my friend. She was supposed to have been my friend for the past two years, possibly more. That's just a reality. Now we're saying if she's pregnant, I'm not mad because I wasn't invited to the shower. Cindy, I thought we were closer than that. Well, then I think of it is. Um, Paris said, did she start off as a subscriber? Yeah, initially. Um, and then when we lived in the same city, I ran into her at a grocery store. Um, and then she had come on my channel several times. Um, she had spoken on several different topics with me several times. So that's how she became um, a friend. I've been talking to her, like I said, for nearly two years. So this was a clearly a mistake. I did not know that she would choose one day to come out and air my personal conversations. I didn't know that she would choose to do that. However, I did confide in her. So I have to take responsibility for the fact that I confided in someone that I trusted and thought was a friend. And clearly that was not the case. Joseph said, we are the choices we make. How we take responsibility for those choices. Um, oh, I lost your comment. I lost the comment. It's a whole live stream going on about you right now, of course. And they will they will continue to make um, live streams. They, they're going to because they, they now feel like they have some ammo to crucify me on and prove... At first, it was some notion about me being with a white man and being married to a white man. And now, because it's not a white man, they'll choose to um, go in on whatever avenues that they can. And that's just a reality because they're not... um, Because the thing of it is, 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 again, if a group of people don't like me... Then they're going to believe what they want to believe. They'll take what they can and turn it into what they can. That's what they'll do. Irene says you should not have to be on guard about the people you trust. This is her fault, and only speak to the person she is, not the choices you make. Yeah, and that's true. But I still, I still disclose. I still talk to her. I still confided into her. I still, you know, said things about someone out of anger that I wish I wouldn't have said there. That's what I, what I've, I, and, and I don't have a problem taking, um, <laughs> taking accountability for that. I don't have a problem um, taking accountability for that at all. And he says, and if you're happy, I'm happy. What I do... <laughs> And always be on guard of who you let in your server. Yeah, and, and I'm learning that, and it's a it's a hard lesson to learn, but it's one um, that I'm learning. It's definitely um, a lesson that I'm learning, and I will continue to learn things. Now, as far as the stuff that they're saying, or why is she talking about beta males and all these other things? 
I've never since I've been on YouTube said all men were beta males, but I can I, I can see why they would they would ask that question. Of course, not knowing who this man is and not knowing him as a person and making him the sum of certain of who he has kids by and how many of them. And I simply don't think that that's the case. Again, to me, it would be more I, I don't see what what the difference would be if I, if it was one man with one kid who chose not to take care of him, who wasn't a good father, who didn't want to do whatever it takes to make sure they're in their children's life and who wants to raise their children to be the best people that they could be. And that is a father that I think a lot of people should want. And it wouldn't make me feel any type of way to know that my, that my child would have that type of father who would have a father that would be of a pro-black mind, who would want to teach them to be the best that they can be. That wouldn't be anything that would, would be of, of shame to me. But I, what I am ashamed about is the fact that I confided in someone who is now putting my personal information all over the place. That's what I am worried Matt, I am ashamed of that. What's up, y'all? I hope you did not forget to hit that subscribe button. Look, if you did, it's all good because I'm here to remind you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Also, feel free to follow me on my other social media. I am at YouTube Stephanie on Instagram and at Lovey Debbie on Snapchat. Thanks for watching again. Bye, y'all.